The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. How to choose the right plastic surgeon. And I think of all the things we've talked about, this is probably one of the most important because it is the foundation of patient outcomes and ultimately patient safety. How are you doing, Dr. Kim? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Great. So where would you start? So what, what, what do you think is the most important component if you're a patient, you're starting to sift around on the internet? Like what are the foundational element that you need to check? The foundation is always, of course, our education. And it's important, although as we, we talk more, I think it's slightly less important in bigger cities because board certification matters, our training matters, our results matter. And board certification does mean a lot. But to be honest, in bigger cities, there are uh, you know several choices for board board, certifica board certified plastic surgeons, and board certification really means yes, we take a written and oral test, and also we're part of the ABPS American Board of Plastic Surgery, that is the original plastic surgery fellowship training program that's part of the nerdy ABMS American Board of Medical Specialties. What that means is that we can operate in hospitals. We can get certified or sanctioned at hospitals. And we have transfer privileges and all that stuff. A lot of the non-ABPS plastic surgeons, they can call themselves plastic surgeons. It's not a trademark name. They really couldn't, they're not allowed to operate in a hospital setting. So that's a great way. That's a great litmus test to find out. So if you ask, if you're speaking to someone and they're saying they're a plastic surgeon and you're there for liposuction and you say, okay, can you perform liposuction in one of the hospitals in town? If they can't answer yes to that question, they are not a board certified plastic surgeon because it's one of the requirements from our board. And also you mentioned ABMS. Those are the real boards of medicine and the American Board of Plastic Surgery is one of them. There's some fake ones out there, clubs really, such as the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery that is so confusing. It sounds legitimate, sounds like a real board of medicine. It's actually a club. You do need to be a doctor. You need to pay $700 and have a reference from one or two other people in the club. That is not what board certification looks like. To your point, it is medical school, at least six years of plastic surgery training, if not more. A lot of plastic surgeons do eight years of training or longer, and then we're held to a high standard, have passed all those board exams and have to maintain our credentials, operate in safe facilities, and we're held to the standard by our peers. So that's really, really important. Yeah, I totally agree. And for our listeners and viewers out there, that's the difference. I mean, ABPS does mean something. And it's always good to know that the surgeons are we're like vetting each other also too. So the American Board of Plastic Surgery, they check in with us. We have to maintain, um, we have to prove that we're maintaining our education, prove that we are constantly learning, show that we're operating in accredited safe facilities. And that has to stay, otherwise you can lose your board certification too. So it's an ongoing commitment to excellence and patient safety. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.